player of the game, Devin Bates, has three touchdowns in the first half. He had the hat trick working for him. And the ground game was working for you guys as a whole. Six touchdowns, you come up with half of them. Talk to me about the holes you were seeing out there. Shout out your offensive line and what your offense was able to do out there. Um, well, obviously, the offensive line did a phenomenal job. They made huge holes, and every running back, not just me, Ryder, Jack, and Arbor, all gotten the holes really good. They just allowed us to get small gains to some of them, huge gains. Yeah, I gotta give it to the line. Talk to me about the momentum this team is playing with the last few weeks. It feels like you guys take no prisoners right now. You're putting points up in left and right fashion right now, and you're not allowing a whole lot on the other side. Well, our defense, it's kind of rough practice sometimes, you know. So they all they want us to be the best we can, offense and defense. And our offense, as actually as a team, they just don't want us to let, let off the gas at all because any moment any team can come back, no matter what time it is, and what time it is in the game. What gives you the drive during a game to come up with big performances like that, finding the end zone three times like you did tonight? Uh, just doing it for my team, and just I want to win. I don't like losing, and especially against a loss to JFK. I, can't stand losing. So. <laughs> when you talk about that one loss, what has this team kind of done? How have you guys kind of changed the fuel to your fire to kind of move on from that loss and get better as you have throughout the season? Uh, I'd say it definitely motivated us a lot, a lot more than I think it would have. Anybody would have thought it would have, and they just, I don't know, just can't. We're not, <laughs> we're not a fan of losing, and I don't want to sound like arrogant or anything, but our program really doesn't hasn't lost many games over the past couple of years besides playoffs. Phone booth football is what you guys like to do over there, no doubt. How do you guys use it? How do you guys get another win next week? Oh, uh, just going next week, uh, not expecting their best, no matter who they are. Yeah, but I think it's Liberty, and they're a pretty good team from what I know. And they're both, they gave us a bit of a challenge last year, but. I think I'm expecting another challenge this year, too. So I'm expecting a lot of carries from you next week and maybe a couple of scores as well as Bates scores three on the ground tonight for the Garrettsville-Garfield G-Men.